Ah, oh, look. Another one of your wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. Are you fucking kidding me? Get out of my face. Well now, that's something I didn't expect. You're scrappy for a little vault twerp, aren't you? Maybe I had you wrong, kid. You're okay. Now what did you want to know? I usually avoid most of the wasteland types that come through here. But there was one guy. Unlike most of the wannabe heroes that come in here, he looked like he could actually read a book without giving himself a headache. He spent a bunch of time in Moriarty's before moving on. I'd try talking to Colin. There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I've put all that behind me. What? Back out where? I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. You know, I do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom, you know? But come on, I'm a washed up old raider. What crew is gonna take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. No offense, kid but you're not exactly the type I'm used to running with. Now I've heard about you. A little goody two-shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles would really mesh. Nah, it ain't so bad here. I got some good memories, but that's all I got. No sense in ruining the good ones, you know? I've said just about all I'm gonna say about that. No offense, kid. I've heard... Nah. Me? <laughs> I don't do a damn thing. Well, unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich or something. Sure, I'm the best shot in town with a rifle, so everyone comes running to old Jericho when the raiders show up. But between raids, they're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. <laughs> A little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. Whoa, 20 caps. Look at the big spender. All right then, I can see you're in it for the big money. So I'll tell you all about Moriarty's. Moriarty, he's a rat fuck bastard for sure. But he's also paranoid as all hell. So paranoid that he don't let no one handle the cash around here. Every night he takes what Gob and Nova earn and locks it in a file cabinet next to his bed. It's dangling around Colin's neck. Get it, if you can. My Robin days are over, kid. I'm just here to drink and stink. He'll probably blow your head off. That is, unless you can draw faster than a pissed off Irishman. Anytime, it'll be worth it to see the look on that asshole's face. Remember what I told you, kid. Moriarty keeps his money locked up right next to his bed. Come back if you need something. And now to the words of the prophet of Adam. You don't got nearly enough hope. Ha! Ah, look at this! New blood! Tell me, boy, you ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. Now, I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a patriot, and any patriot worth his salt is gonna toss his gun in for the Enclave. Any day now, they're gonna roll up here, and then this nightmare will be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? They're the American government. The Eagle. People come a weaver. The more perfect union.
They're on the radio. They have been for years. President Eden talks about everything they're doing. They got flying robots all around, watching everything so they know what to do when they finally swoop in and clean this place up. You'll see. People think I'm just a crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave gets here. Why? Why? Look around you! This is the good old USA! Sure, she looks a little bit different these days, but you're still on American soil. And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. And it's your duty and my duty to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? Now there's a proud patriot. After all, if they could do us wrong, we wouldn't have elected them in the first place, right? Yes, sir. Trust in the judgment of other people to know what's best for me. It's the American way. I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya, if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Take care. Bulls in you to be bothering me. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. I have to say, of all the rat-infested hellholes that I've lived in, this one is the least hellish. I'm the town doc. If it's cut, I sew it up. If it's infected, I cut it off. A doctor doesn't talk about his patients. At least not to strangers, he doesn't. All right. I suppose someone with medical training has to have at least a bit of compassion. And maybe you can talk some sense into the boy. Leo Stahl. That boy got himself a problem with Jet. I've caught him in here two to three times trying to steal what I keep around for anesthetic. Not even his own family knows it. He goes up to the water treatment plant at night to get high. I don't know. I can't reach him. Maybe you can. Try to be careful.